Thanks for clicking over to the Kinder Music channel to hear a story today. My name is Helen Peterson and I'm a Kinder Music educator. I live in Minnesota in the United States. If you're not familiar with Kinder Music, let me tell you that it's a music and movement program for children that are newborn babies all the way up through seven years old and their families. Kinder Music has been around in the United States for 40 years and is a program that really promotes all kinds of learning beyond music and also family bonding. We have studio classes, probably one near you, and now virtual classes too. I have a story to share with you today. It's called A Quieter Instrument. It's about a little boy named Diego who is interested in making instruments and goes all around his village looking for materials. Here we go. A Quieter Instrument by Cole Mason and Stephanie Bardis. The pictures in this book are by Hector Vivero Lee. In a small village in Peru, there was a clever boy named Diego who loved to play music. He spent his days wandering about his village in search of just the right things that he could use to make instruments. One day, he made a drum out of an old steel barrel but the sassy, brassy sound made Chuckle, the family donkey, kick and bray each time Diego tried to play. Diego, find a quieter instrument, his mama said. Another day, he made maracas out of gourds that he found growing behind the house. But the clicky-ticky sound made Lucia, the neighbor's grouchy llama, hiss and spit. Diego. Find a quieter instrument, his papa said. The next day, Diego collected a beautiful set of bottles and filled them with water. He used a stick to tap out a zippy tune, but the tingy pingy song that Paco made Paco the family's old hound dog howl along. Diego, find a quieter instrument, his twin sister Maria shouted. So, Diego went off to find a quieter instrument. Hmm, he thought, my instrument can't be too sassy brassy, clicky ticky, or tingy pingy. I know just the thing. He wandered into a patch of thick brush behind the village market where he found a stand of bamboo. He picked up several pieces that were lying on the ground and took them home. His big brother, Carlos, helped him to cut the bamboo pieces into different lengths and tie them together, shortest to longest. Diego thanked his brother and slipped away from the house to practice his homemade pipes. First, he blew into the hole, but nothing happened. That's certainly a quieter instrument, he laughed to himself. After hours of blowing and thinking and spitting and thinking, Diego blew across the hole. The bamboo hummed in his fingers. Diego blew across the holes again. Each piece of bamboo made its own warm, woody sound. Diego was making music. Mama and Maria were passing nearby. Mama. Do you hear that yummy, hummy tune? Asked Maria. Mama smiled. It sounds like Diego has finally found a quieter instrument. I love that story about Diego and his instruments. You know, each of the instruments he made made their own special sound in music. We call that timbre. You know, I want to show you. Kinder Music has just come out with a new app. And on this app, there's a way to explore some sounds of different instruments, some different timbres. So here, I have an instrument, the triangle, that makes a tingy pingy sound. Let's listen. Hmm. 
Hmm, I think this instrument, the sticks, makes a clicky ticky sound. Now, what would you say this instrument sounds like? Hmm, I wonder what word you would find to describe the sound of the drum. Maybe thumpy bumpy? Maybe something else. Other thing I want to show you on this great app is there are some videos. I especially think you will like the video on how to make instruments at home, just like Diego. There's lots of ideas how you can make your own instruments, all different instruments with different timbres at home. Thanks so much for listening. I hope you subscribe to this channel because there are going to be my friends and colleagues, kinder music educators from all over the world, sharing songs and stories and activities for you throughout this week of the child. You're welcome to share and like this and post this all over social media if you'd like. Thanks again. It was really fun reading to you today. Bye.